We lay in Lagos for an update of day four of the nationwide protest. Larry, can you keep us up to speed with the happenings from the Center of Excellence? Yes, it, uh, well, it's a typical mo uh, Sunday morning in Lagos. And uh, while I woke up this morning coming to this uh, center, uh, this designated area for the demonstrators, I met people going to their you know, re religious centers, their worship centers, and I met business people doing their businesses. The cars are blind, the roads, vehicular movement, business is going on. And when I got here, I met the protesters. They are not as much as the one that we had before, but that, there they are behind me doing their thing. Uh, it's, it's, it's been a peaceful protest, and if you look behind me again, the security personnel are there, including us, yours truly, us, the press men, monitoring the situation. And it's not, it's not, uh, there's not, uh, it's been peaceful, really. It's been peaceful, and it's been a, an, an impressive yeoman job by the security personnel, both at the state and at the federal level. And let me tell you, we've been around Lagos since Friday. See, this seems to be the only place where the prote protesters are gathering in Lagos to express what they felt. And for, for a while, it's been cool. It's been a safe place for everybody, including the security personnel. Jide? Uh, Larry, just, just before I, I leave the Center of Excellence, uh, what can you uh, tell us about uh, people's response, uh, you know, to President Bola Metinobu's uh, special broadcast this morning? Do you think it is already trickling down to the, you know, the various uh, segments of uh, the subnationals? Well, my own personal opinion, people that I talk to, um, I think it has affected the protesters. You can see they are not as much as the one that we saw on Thursday, Friday, even Saturday. The, we thought maybe it's early in the morning, people are gathering a little bit, but now as the time progresses, this is still the remaining people there. And, you know, people are digesting what the president just said. And they, in, their, in their comments, what they say is that they are digesting, they are understanding the situation of things. And... You know, when I talk to one of my friends, I'm like, what is now going to happen? Because some businesses are skeletal, they are performing, doing skeletal functions ever since Thursday. They say, well, what has happened? And the president broadcast, they are going back to work tomorrow to start work fully. And that is what the situation is really in Lagos. It's like people are digesting what is being said by the president, and they are saying, okay, from there, before the time, as we progress, we'll, we'll keep talking to people. And we know what they are saying. All right. Uh, many thanks, uh, Larry Gbele, uh, correspondent from Lagos, for keeping us up to speed. Many thanks for your input.